Hi everyone, it's Bray here at Cornthwaite. I'm just going to do a quick video on how to set up an iTech operation into your screen. So we're going to go to menu first of all, uh, applications, and we are going to select our iTech. So iTech's already turned on, so once it's on, click on number one, press add step. First thing we're going to want to do with this is lift the rear hitch. So we'll press rear hitch, choose the direction we want the hitch to go. For this we're going to do raise. Here you can input the distance the machine travels before it completes the function. So we want this to activate straight away, so we'll leave that on zero. Adding our next step, now we're going to change the PTO to turn off. It'll be PTO, select off, and then we'll do that at a little bit after. It doesn't have to be, you can have them working at the same time, but we just like to leave a little bit of a delay. And then the next step, we can change our maximum engine speed. Choose our set speeds uh, for this one. We'll go for set speed one. So you know that's set to sort of tick over around 1400 revs. That's where we'd normally have it. We can set that to go to that at half a foot. Okay, so that's gonna raise our arms, turn the PTO off, and then put an engine speed that we want for turning on the headland. Once you know that you're happy, we'll press next. And then call it a name that you want. Um, rear up. Click OK. And then save. And that sequence is now saved in number one. To reverse that sequence, we're going to go to iTech sequence two. This time we'll go rear hitch. And we want it to lower. Do that again at zero. That's OK. Next step, we're going to re-engage the PTO. So we'll rear PTO on. Again, just a little bit, just give it time to drop down before the PTO engages. And then we want engine revs back to set speed two, which was set at maximum revs. And pull that at half a foot. And then click next when we're happy. Call that the opposite, so we know which way round they are. Rear down and save. So that sequence is now saved. So once the tractor's moving and your iTech master is on, we're just going to click on rear down and that will activate the functions. We're going to go down to here and press number one, which will raise the implement, turn your PTO off, and then number two, which will lower the implement and turn your PTO back on. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.